Hey guys and welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. So we do have another edition of the tier list. This is going to be version 1.3. Uh, 1.3 after the first anniversary. So without further ado, we are at tier 4. Take note that we will be having another tier list as soon as the new, uh, the new version of Marin comes out. So watch out for that. But for the meantime that we're waiting for Marian, let's do another tier list because there are things that shook in the tier list when Katya arrived. Okay, so tier four, no change really. Haru, Nita, and Enya are still tier four. I don't know if uh, they're going to be going up anytime soon, but sad to say they belong in tier four. Tier three, though. Um, I think no change as well. So it's Frisha Hush, Life, Cherno, Mauxir, and Series. Um, okay, I, I put some, you know, ratings there. I'm going to be expanding on the rating system. Let me just put some things together. Probably be out in the Marian, you know, Marian tier list. And we'll see what happens. But for now, I'm happy with this rating. And most of the previous uh, viewers of the tier list were happy with the ratings so i'm happy with it as well tier two by the way doesn't have any change and by the way guys um for you you know watching this i'm gonna be putting a link in the description so sorry if i disabled the link to the description it's just the same tier list i'm actually modifying it every time it comes out so there's a link on the description please do take a look at it and um you don't have to go back to the video if you, you know don't want to hear my ramblings so again uh it's it's in the description so check it out um again for the next tier list i'll be disabling it before so that i could you know fix the tier list and present it to you again so again going back we are at tier two okay tier two no change mario swift akasha Fenny, marian four star freesha four star okay tier one is i think uh you're gonna see a change here two changes to the tier list if you can guess who then you are right okay so for tier one we do have life wild hunt uh previously in the tier one yao as well previously in tier one but we do have two additions we have agave vidya and Haru Abscunditis. So Agave Vidya, um, uh, she's going to be your multi-part specialist. She's not going to be, um, I don't see her much use for single target. There are better, you know, operatives for that role. Um, again, for mobbing, she's decent by the way, but she is not going to go up tier one unless we do have somebody that can support her well but again this tier list is based on their skills alone no supports added so we'll see later um uh, again the supports that uh, will factor in in their team does not contribute to their placement in the tier list i'm gonna make that a rule starting today haru absconditus again um single target yes but it it is it's mostly done through her gun multi-part she struggles so much because it's a pistol and mobbing she that's her only you know that's her only um that's that's the only thing that she is actually good at so she is bumped down to tier one okay sad to say comment down in the comment section what do you think of this tier list we'll go up to the next um tier list though so this is tier 0 0.5. We do have some changes here. Um, tier 0 0.5, we have the fixed uh, uh, Chen Xing Ethereum Cloud. So Chen Xing, no change. Let me just center this because it's not centered. So Fanny Coronet. Okay, let me explain. Let me explain. Fanny Coronet was in tier 1, the previous tier list, because of some supports that came in. Like mainly Fanny Starshine has made her very good but to take fanny starshine out she drops down to tier 0 0.5 okay that is why the reason for the change again the tier list is going to be standard without support how are go how, how are they going to be doing okay so tier 0 
without Fanny Starshine, she struggles with um, reload bullets that is actually her you know her struggle with fanny starshine she see she you know she excels in in reloading and also in bullet damage that is why she turned into tier one but again i've you know i've uh, fixed that um thank you for those who have mentioned that in the comments so again i do listen to the comments guys um if you don't think i listen to the comments i do or i do not listen i do read the comments and take it to heart Okay, so uh, new to the tier list is actually Katya Dawning, which to my surprise, um, I did another run actually with the, the new content just before I um, uploaded this tier list. And she is fantastic at mobbing, really. Um, with her mobility, with her standard skill, she can actually, again, her, one of her skills is exploding um the crystals that she plants dealing frost damage to five that is actually a nice add-on as she goes through mobs she has to go through them for them to explode so if you're quick enough and usually she's quick enough because you can actually spam her standard skill so quick enough to go through them they explode and they get hit if there are you know some stragglers were left Basically, she just have, has to shoot them, you know, probably one or two left once she passes through. Then shoot, then her standard skill gains energy again, and she can do her standard skill again. Fantastic at mobbing. I didn't realize she was this good. I tried her out without support. She is fantastic with mobs. Second is her single target ability, which is part, which is the second part of her standard skill. Be, being you you know she can use her crystals to shoot a uh, maximum of 12 shooting with six uh, minus three then replacing again that is actually her you know her her skill rotation if you haven't seen my skill rotation video honestly guys please do um i'll put the link up there just in case that you want to see how her skill is going to be used um I, I focused more on both the mobbing you know the mobbing how to do a mobbing run to 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 kill mobs and also for single target um damage that she does for a multi-part though um she's decent um the only thing that she does good is that she is using a a rifle so bigger damage compared to the submachine gun for life so that is where her saving grace is um, and parts actually the 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 parts that uh, go off actually are they're more they're more softer actually to to hit and to take out. So with that said, so tier zero point five is it Katya Dawning. I'm not sure if we if I do. I'm planning to take her to M five and also a tier two for her you know for her own gun her orange tier gun or your five tier, uh, five star gun and we'll see how she does i'm really curious if that takes her up to tier one i'm really curious for now i'll have to be contented with her at m i'm, I'm talking guys of her being at m0 i have her at m0 i don't have her at m1 and i have one copy of her five star gun so that's it with not even good logistics because i'm still cycling through logistics and looking for good logistics by the way um she's gonna be better off with primary alignment index secondary attack stat so those are my tips for her if you want to build her out um check out the other videos that i have on her um especially the the is she worth it or not because i have a comparison there on her guns and more or less the skill rotation is actually nice so with that said let's uh, reveal our tier one tier one uh we have streamlined tier one already um they're the best of the best i don't think anybody could compete with them so um again going back to tier 0 0.5 we have uh, tess and each other there uh at 0 0.5 uh, starting off with tier one support is going to be Akasha Kaguya again, still best all type risks 
uh, lowers all type resistance, can join any team. Very, 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 very flexible. Mox here, Shadow Ka, damage transfer, damage buff. Again, very nice. Fanny Starshine. Uh, what what that can what can I say about this girl? Um, she's very versatile. Even if you don't have an operative that focuses on ballistic damage, like I used her with Katya Dawning. Imagine how much damage she can provide. She actually helps Katya Dawning with also, you know, having the reload thing, reload quickly, uh, more ballistic damage because she has a rifle as well. So, again, going back, tier zero, we have Kisana. The, the DPS people or the DPS ops in the left side are the best of the best. You cannot. Um, I was thinking about Kate Blue Bolt. She is still, she is still, you know, very, very good in her, you know, burst damage. And she has burst damage plus she is, she can sustain damage. That is actually her skill because she doesn't have a magazine. The sustained and burst damage is going to be perfect. Life Infinite Sight is strictly burst. Her. Her skill rotation is nuts as she maintains the burst damage. Um, Sirius Kisana and Cherno are, you know, skill damage operatives. Cherno is going to be your top nuker, while your secondary top nuker is going to be Sirius Kisana. I think her banner is up in the next few weeks, if I'm not mistaken. But again, um, they are it. I don't think anybody could compete with her so two skill dps in the tier zero and two ballistic dps for tier zero okay guys again thank you very much um you know for 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 being here at the end again please do comment down in the comment section what do you think of the tier list this tier list will be in the description of this video please take a look at it after these um this video so again guys thank you very much for staying this far up until the next uh, tier list with Mar marian so take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here